Pendulums will never be the same again. This video is going to blow your mind, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's hope my opponent is ready. So what you guys are about to witness in this video is the new creation that I have created. Best synchro monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! The best Link monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! And the best Pendulum monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's go! You're gonna witness this greatness. But hey, before you actually see what this Oridon combo is about to do, I need you guys to stop right now. I need you guys to stop right now and smash the subscribe button for me, okay? I want to hit 80,000 subscribers ASAP. So smash the subscribe button. And while you're at it, I want you guys to also check the comments down below, okay? The Check the top comment. Check the top description. Check the beautiful playmats in order, okay? You're going to see beautiful playmats in order. You're probably looking at it right now. And I want you guys to check which one you like the fav the most. And then comment down below what's your favorite playmat that we have on TriffGaming.com. And cop yourself one if you'd like. Anyways, let's get back into this video of greatness. So, what does Oradon make in this crazy Pendulum Synchro deck? Do you guys witness this card in my hand? The card is called Sword Swoll Strategist Along Yuan. That's right. Pendulum Sword Soul. Pendulums will never be the same again. Pendulum Sword Soul is the best way to play Sword Soul and the best, one of the best ways to play Pendulums. Let's go. Here we're going to go into Herald. We're going to go Oridon. We're going to bring out Big Bad Boy O Lion. O Lion, bring out Bigger Bad Boy Dang Long. Dang Long O Lion. We're going to set up a whole board before we even pen summon and actually make plays with Long Yuan. Here we're going to go into Borlode Savage Dragon. Now, don't get me started how crazy this is when you actually start off with Moye. When you start hard draw a Sword Soul, like Ecclesia, Moye, anything like that, this becomes 10 times stronger. Here, we're going to show how easily accessible it is instead. Next, Denglang will trigger. We're going to bring out Zephyr Nui. We're going to go Oradon. We're going to trigger Long Yuan now. The reason why is I want to do a very cool play. We're going to go Baron to Floor here, okay? This is what the synergy is insane in this deck. Here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go Baron to Floor effect. Pop my own Zephyr Nui. Woo! Oh, damn! The same Zephyr Nui that Denglang brought out, I'm popping with Baron to Floor to search for Zephyr Providence to get access to my Oracle of Zephra. Because Zephras are worms... And Sword Souls are worms. The synergy is amazing. And it works out absolutely remarkable. And the only thing that it's going to synergize with is this W that we're going to get. And the big ass fat L that we're going to hand to our opponent. We're going to go Oracle of Zephyr here to search Zephrath. And what beautiful... Oh my god, this is amazing. I actually decided to discard the Zephrath because we already have a Zephyr Nui here. And now we're going to get a free plus one. And then special pen summon out back to Zephyr Nui. I could have also searched a counter trap if I wanted to, but I felt like this is enough negates already as it is. So I decided not to search a counter trap. Instead, I'm just going to set up a big board value here. I forgot to add in another Synchro 8, so I was not able to make a Synchro 8 with Harmonizing and Celestial. This over here should be, it could be any Synchro 8, like a Baxia, not a Baxia, the uh, Draco Berserker Tenny is needed in this extra deck. I just forgot to add it for this replay. So here I should have a break, Draco Berserker Tenny. Now let's see if my opponent is able to out this board uh, let's see what he's gonna do. Imperm, <laughs> imperm, nice, nice imperm, bro. Nice imperm. Kaiju. He has imperm kaiju. Imperm kaiju. Oh my god, how scary, how scary. Next, he's gonna go summon alpha. Don't care. He's gonna attack that. Don't care. Attack that. Don't care. Effect. We're not letting that one resolve. And now this is where we're gonna get really gets gets really funny. Uh, next, uh, we're gonna go Zephyr. We will still trigger to search. And now he's gonna go Regeki. Our whole board just got broken. Does it look like I care? Okay, I do care a little bit. But I don't care. Well, the beauty of this deck is that we used him to utilize all of his cards to stop the board. Now we're just going to make the exact same board again. That's why it's amazing when you have synchros. We literally play DPE in this deck. We literally play Vertan and Conda DPE. So the idea of this deck is you have Needle Fiber Oridon as the main combo. The second combo, if that does not resolve, you have DPE. I know you can't use Oridon and Vertan in the same turn, but it doesn't matter. You save one for one turn, one for another turn. See what he stops. You could summon a Verte, let him pop the Verte, then go Oridon later with Needle Fiber. You got a whole Sword Soul, She Shall, Baron to Floor combos. You got actual Pendulum combos. You got Electromite combos. You have DDs in this deck. You have Zephyrus in this deck. There's so many cards the opponent has to stop that he doesn't know what to stop. Like, what can he stop? He can't even actually stop anything. That's the beauty. How do I have five cards in my hand now? I'm just going to Pendulum everything, everything back. And sadly, he's going to scoop a little prematurely. Otherwise, you guys would have seen Electromite... D DPE, all this shenanigans. He just has no answer. 
That's the beauty of this deck. There's just like 10 different ways to play around with this deck. But there's just no stuff he has. You could Baron to floor pop. You could go Yazi Baron to floor. Baron to floor pop Yazi. Yazi affects special Moye and trigger off Moye and go your whole Sword Soul route. That's why this deck synergizes so amazing together. Something Absolutely. else that's extremely cool about this deck is there's no like situation where you're just passing, if that makes sense. You have so many lines of plays in this deck that you're always going to have something. Now, I would love to open a Sword Soul card, but I'm just not good enough to do it. But the beauty of the Sword Souls is that you're always going to get access to them. Here we get Hand Trapped. We don't really care. The idea of it is if you go Baron to Floor and Yazi, you can make Yazi by half the deck. The whole entire deck makes Yazi. The Needle Fiber combo makes Yazi. And then you can go Oridon, pop your Yazi, or Baron to Floor, pop your Yazi. And this makes it so you could go Yazi, Special Summon, Moye. You can make Danglong in this deck so incredibly easy. You go Danglong effect to send Moye to the graveyard. And then you special summon it back with Baxia. So there's so many cool ways in this deck to bring out your combo. It's absurd. Here, we're going to go Ordon. Here, we don't opt to decide for the Sword Soul stuff. Here, we're going to go for this combo instead. Because you don't, that's the idea of it. What, what Sword Souls offers this deck is another line of play. It's like, let's say one line of play is stopped. All right, let's go for the Sword Soul route. Oh, the Zephyrs are stopped. Let's go for Sword Soul. Let's start to turn off with Moye. He's going to be so scared and stop it. All right, now we have Pendulums. You know what I mean? Now we have DP. Now we have Oridon. We have whatever the fuck we want. That's the beauty of this deck and how it synergizes amazing together. Here, we're going to special out O-Lion. And we're gonna, I would love setting up multiple negates before my pen summon. This makes it so my opponent is not able to Nibiru Imperm me. It's a very TCG mentality, but it's fine. Here, we're going to go Borload Savage Dragon. I'm going to set up a bunch of negates here. Uh, go Denglong, Zephyr Nui, uh, Sork, Pen Sork, Pen Summon, Harmonizing. Oh my god, this is just so powerful. Oath Dragon and go Oath, uh, Baron de Floor set up over here. And go uh, Baron de Floor, pop the Zephyr Nui. Uh, search. I'm going to search another counter trap. We're going to have double counter trap. We have five negates here. He has five cards in hand. He has five cards in hand and I have five negates. Uh, it's just too much here. It's, it's actually just too much for my opponent. There's nothing he could do. He Kaijus me. Don't care. Don't care. Very similar setup to the last one. Don't care. Uh, there's no answer he has. Uh, in fact, he's going to enter battle, attack my Baron. My Celestial will trigger the special back to Baron. And he's going to see that and be like, yo, Pen God, you got a bigger brain than the whole universe. See you later. GG. Now I'm going to show you guys the deck profile. And this is the deck profile. It has to be 60 cards. Trust me, there's no other option there. It needs to be 60 because you don't want to draw like all Sword Soul cards. Because then you're just playing pure Sword Soul and that's boring as shit. You don't want to draw all Zephyr cards. You don't want to draw all Magician cards. You don't want to draw all DD cards. You want to draw little bits of each. And that's when the deck becomes insanely powerful and synergizes incredibly together. So the deck, a lot of stuff that look like bricks, it's not actually bricks. For example, you you have a lot of scale zeros, like gate zero. Uh, you search, uh, you have a scale zero DD over here that you search DD God. They're both scale zero. So it makes it so you're able to pen summon your DDs. You're able to pen summon uh, Despot O1, your, your, your low levels like O-Lion. So they just work as tuners in this scenario. So you got Despot O1, you got double DD capital. You don't want too many normal summons. Typically you pen summon the Moye or the Ecclesia. Uh, so they're not, they don't like, it doesn't, it's not too many normal summons. You just pen summon them. Metaphys Decoy Dragon is here because when you start off with Sword Soul Moye, you go Moye effect, uh, make Shi Shao, Shi Shao. Instead of searching Baron, Shi Shao searches Emergence and Emergence searches a low scale. So Emergence will actually search you a worm low scale. So that's why this is there. When you want to start off your turn with Shi Shao, where you have a lot of ways to do it with Emergence, all the Sword Soul, the Ecclesia, uh, one low scale Zephyra, one Sork, one Joker. They, they, they come up. You want a card for Duelist Lines to search for Pen Sork, and Joker comes up for that. Uh, I love DP in this deck because it gives you a good backup. Uh, you don't really need DP, but it's cool. I love it. Double Harmonizing, Dark Worm, Celestial. Only two Moye. You don't want to have, like, I even tried one Moye because three Ecclesia gets it. You don't want to draw all sorts of cards. You're going to search them anyways. Uh, so it's fine. Ecclesia is better than Moye because it gets Moye or Taye depending on the situation. And all you, like two Moye comes up as a follow-up. That's why it's there. Otherwise, I would play one. But I would like to have two for a follow-up. That's why. Double Zephyr Nui. Like, don't play three. Three is way too much. Uh, one Oath, one Chrono, one Long Yuan, one Mare Mare, one Gate Zero, one Distrudo, one uh, DD God, one Zephyroth. A lot of people are going to see 60 cards. Oh, it breaks so much, bro. It breaks so much. It's just no understanding of the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Thunder Dragons uh, used to play 60 cards only. Jesse Cotton, world champion, played it at 60. The 40 or 60 doesn't matter. When the deck does the same thing, it doesn't matter if it's 40 or 60. It makes no difference. Uh, if you were to cut this deck to make it 40, you're cutting out good cards. You're cutting out your starters. So it's 60, so you don't draw your bricks. The like the bricks are like traps or Mare Mare. Those are the only actual bricks. 
I don't mind drawing uh, O Lion or like Metaphys Decoy Dragon. Their scales or tuners. Those are not bricks. Uh, Foolish Shrine, Pen Call, Zebra Providence, Duelist Alliance, Fusion Destiny. Like, try this deck for yourselves. This deck is a little bit expensive, but if you guys can afford it, just test it out for yourselves. Put it on your, put it on Master Duel. Get the main deck and extra deck and play it. The deck plays itself. It's very good. And there's so many different, it's, it's a little complicated, but there's so many lines of plays. You get so many negates and interruption that is very powerful. Three Emergence, three Oracle Zephyr, three Chicken Game, three Dark Contract. Chicken Game is not that necessary. Uh, three Dark Contract, uh, one Blackout, one Divine Strike, one Nine Pillars, one DPE, one Herald, one Danglong, one Yazi, one Baxia, one Shishao, one Savage. You probably could take out Savage. I don't think you really need Savage. That oh, no, you need Savage for the combo. I take that back. One Baron, one Link. You could take a Link Rebo, I guess. Needle Fiber, uh, Electrum, Needle Fiber, Verte, Selene, uh, Oridon, Axis Code. The deck's so amazing. I love this deck so fun that's what it mainly it's fun there's so many lines of plays it's just really fun to clear boards hope you guys enjoyed this video uh if you guys got this far make sure to smash the subscribe button smash the like button and check out the beautiful playmats trivgaming.com i really appreciate it you guys will appreciate it too the mats are absolutely beautiful uh and also if you guys want to get better at pendulums and master duel check out my patreon master duel content down in the description below for bonus triff content i love you guys i'll see you guys at the next video peace